Hello my friends, my name is Amir and in this video we are going to create a draw application using Canvas and React. Here I have an empty app. So first let's have some JSX here and a Canvas here. Let's add some styles here first. Here I'm just having some width for the app and then have the canvas of 100%, 1 to 1 aspect ratio and some border. So if I see the app, it's a blank canvas here. Okay, the next thing is that my canvas needs to have three different event handlers. One for the most down, one for the most up and one for the most move. I will explain each of these when we get to them. For now, let's just define them. Each of these events should be handled. So here I would define three different functions to handle these events. The begin draw is the function that will trigger when the mouse is pressed. The end draw is when we release the mouse. And the update draw is when we move the mouse. Why is that? Because in a canvas, when we press the mouse, we start the drawing. So this would happen. And it would draw when the mouse is moving on the canvas. So this is the update draw. And then when we release the mouse, we end that drawing. So let me put this underneath update draw so they are in sync. Now in order to use these event handlers we need to have the access to this canvas. So let's define a ref here so we can get use of this canvas inside these handlers. And add it to the app and give it to the canvas. So this has a ref, which is this value. Great. Then we need to have some styles for the canvas when the app is rendered. So we would have a effect with a callback that would only run when the app mounts. Here I would grab the canvas from the ref so canvas reference dot current this will give me this canvas then I can give it some width and height so the width is like 800 and the same thing is for the height then we need to get the context of this canvas so we can draw on a 2d context so we can say const canvas is uh, sorry not canvas context is the canvas dot get context of 2d like so then we can add a few definitions for our drawing so I would say line cap is round so that lines are rounded so to say on the edge then we can give a color to the lines that we draw so let's say for now it's black and uh, some width for the line and we also need to be able to use this context in these functions so let's define a ref for that one as well. Let's call this one context reference. We can have the context reference dot current is the context exactly. Great, so now we have our effect and everything. So I will close it to have more room here. Also this one. And let's go and start the drawing. 
So when we begin the draw, we need to do a few things. We get the context reference and current and then we begin the drawing which will be done by begin path function and also we need to move to the point that the user has pressed the mouse inside that so for example if I go and click here I should start drawing from here so we need to basically move to this point so I can say context reference uh, dot current dot move to and this will get an X and a Y uh, so how can we get that X and Y this begin draw will get an event here and using that event let's say 10 and 10 and like the E here so we can see what we get so if I go here refresh get the console let's make it a bit bigger so if I go and click here there are a bunch of things that we don't care about but one of the most important one is this native event that would give us the uh, do, 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 offset of X and Y so if I press here pretty close to the edge I can see that the native event offset X and Y is 2 and 2 so let's get back and get use of those values here we say e dot native event dot uh, offset X and also offset Y and I don't need the log anymore so we're basically done with this uh, event handler there is only one more thing that we need and that thing is that when we press the button this update draw should know that the button is pressed so I would define a state here set is pressed to be true and I would define it here so is pressed and set is pressed use the state and in the beginning it's false so when we begin draw we set is pressed to true so that we could use it here so we're done with begin draw and in the end draw obviously we need to do the opposite so here and here is is false so let's go to the app to check that one go to the components here the app state is false when I press it becomes true then false again and when we move nothing happens great let's make these a little bit apart and the update draw we need to only draw when the mouse is pressed so if mouse is not pressed we need to return if not is pressed just return if I can type it correctly otherwise we need to draw the line from the position that it was here to this place so I would grab the context reference and the current and then I would line to the point that we are already in so in other words if I click here and then move here I need to draw a line from this position to this position so line 2 again I'm going to use these two values here getting them from E and then I would use the stroke function to draw the line so context reference dot current dot line sorry dot stroke to do the line okay the update draw is basically done begin draw is also done so here in the end draw we need to add one more thing and that is just closing the path that we started with the begin draw 
otherwise all the lines will be connected to each other so we would go here and say context reference dot current dot close path just this so we're done with the end so let's go and see what we have done so if I start here and I can draw great drawing is basically done I need to add two more improvements to this one one is providing different colors so that user can click them and draw with those colors and the other one is having a clear button so that the user can clear the drawing that they did so here I would add uh, another div for now this div will only have the button uh, which is doing the clearing and it will be calling one function let's call it clear canvas we need to basically define this here so the clearing is basically drawing a rectangle from the top left to the bottom right with the color of white for the clear canvas we get the canvas from the canvas reference dot current then get the context from the canvas canvas dot get context of uh, 2d then we set the color to white so context dot fill style is white and then we draw a rectangle so context dot fill rectangle and starting from zero zero up to canvas dot width and canvas dot height so if I go here and draw something and clear it will be cleared great the only thing that is remaining is to have the colors so I would go here and define some colors let's say colors is an array of a bunch of colors let's say black I think this is enough then let's render them down here so for all the colors we need to map them each of them to a, a button this button will have a unclick that when clicked we just set the color so let's have a set color to that color we need to define it obviously and let's give it some background color here as well with some inline styling is color set color is a function that receives a color and the only thing it does is just sets the color to what we want so I would get the context reference and I would get the current on that one and I would call the stroke style to be the color we can also go here and instead of hard coding black we could get the uh, first color that we have here which is black so here I would say zero colors of zero and then we need to provide it here as well so when the colors change these updates and we need to wrap this in the use memo if you want to know what, 
why we need to have the use memo here and the dependency here we have a full list explaining react hooks that you can see here so I would have a use memo here and I would wrap this value inside and an empty dependency array of course I need to import it great and now VS Code is also happy so yep let's go and see the app get the red draw something get the green draw something clear great so the only thing that is remaining is to style these so let's go to the app.css so for each of the buttons we can have a let's say height of 50 pixels and let's wrap them inside a div so that we could style them better this place flex we justify the content to be space between and let's give them some gap of 10 pixels great and I think the height of 50 pixels is enough uh, let's give this one the class of button and then see the app okay I need to say this is the flex one so that it stretches and there you go so if I go and say green I can draw I'm not happy let's draw something here some road maybe and the house like so with some doors and some windows if you like the video please provide a thumbs up maybe providing even a comment and subscribing to the channel would help me a lot here so thank you for watching and see you in the next video